say what you do in one sentence. Hi, I'm John. This is the Wheel Questions Project. And the idea is that people ask questions about life, and I answer them all through an outdoor public installation. It's an art project based here in Harvard Square. The idea is that people come and they ask questions about life. Uh, questions like, how can I get kids to stop picking on me at school? How will I find love? I answer the questions, they're all on colored cards, and the cards get hung on the installation for everyone to see, and then placed on, on a website as well. So where, where are you from? I'm local. Uh, I was born in Rehoboth, Massachusetts, and then at the age of 16 came to MIT for school, got stuck here, loved the city, and I don't plan to leave. I'm simply an advice columnist who's taken it into a new artistic direction. Instead of writing three or four answers in a weekly column, I'm writing a hundred answers a day in a public place that makes it really easy to ask the questions. How, how much of your time do you think is, is put into this project if you had to... Um... At least one lifetime's worth so far. <laughs> Um, it used to be that I would spend six or seven hours every day, seven days a week on the project. Uh, a couple of hours just to maintain the thing, you know, maintain vandalism, pick up the cards themselves, but then just a lot of time answering over a hundred questions a day. Uh, but then recently, just to keep myself sane, because the project is totally unfunded by the way, I uh, have been answering just the questions that appeal to me the most, and then the rest I will answer on request but I may leave them unanswered, or I may answer them later over the winter break, we'll see. I have not made a whole lot of money off this project. I have made about $700, but I've invested about $15,000 plus, I would guess probably 1,500 hours of my time in the last year and three months. That is a lot of time. Um, so there's no way that I could possibly really get that back. Uh, even if I funded the project to the level of about $35,000 a year, it would still not really pay for a professional's like expert time. But I think I'm okay making this year an investment, just like last year was an investment, as long as the adventure continues. You know, if I can find a way to spin this and make it bigger and better, I will do that. Um, so how did you start the project? Where did this idea come from? I started the project as sort of yet another in an endless series of crazy ideas, uh, many of which are interactive. You know, uh, starting a club in high school or college, starting a company, uh, running an event, throwing a huge party with some kind of creative theme. Uh, I was the MIT beaver, the school mascot, which involves wearing a huge beaver costume. So this is kind of the norm for me. Uh, last year I had an apartment with a garden in the backyard that I built myself. Um, and it was kind of static, you know, I wanted to open it up to the public. So many private gardens are just closed and walled off. And I thought, well, what's going to have the most impact? Interactivity. Uh, I like interactivity. To make it interactive, well, I'm not going to stay in there all day you know, to interact with people. I'm not going to build a big metal kinetic sculpture, so I thought I'd interact using writing. Uh, and the same week I happened to see this movie, The Love Guru, which is a very silly movie, uh, but it's got a real philosophy about life. And my friend Joan is always telling me I should write a book about my philosophies on life. So I thought, okay, I'll throw philosophy and interactivity and a garden together. Uh, and it was so popular last year, just in my backyard, that I got permission from the city of Cambridge to put it here in Harvard Square. And it's been here in Harvard Square now uh, two and a half months, and I've gotten over 7,000 questions. And I've answered almost all of them. Did I read on your website that, I think this was what I read, that you had a motto which was, how can I make this awesomer? Is yeah. That, is that you? Uh, I love it. It's, um, it's, my, it's my away message on Instant Messenger now. It's so awesome. <laughs> Um, my uh, dad had this joke that my mom would, would clean the house like frantically as though the queen were coming. So, uh, you know, she would just care about small details in a way which wouldn't make sense to anybody 
who was more grounded. Um, and I think that I inherited some of that, maybe not OCD, but certainly like just lots of energy, wanting to be a, a perfectionist. And instead of worrying about the queen coming, which is a kind of negative energy, I prefer to say like, how can I embrace this? If, if the essence of being happy is to know who you are and embrace it, well, who I am is someone who wants to do cooler and cooler projects. So I always look at things and I think to myself, how can I make this cooler? How can I make this awesomer? Like, is there some way to, to twist it? Like last year, uh, as I mentioned, I had this backyard in my apartment and I could have put, just put in some roses and called it a day. But I thought, like, how can I make this awesomer? You know, is there a way to make this more creative, more interesting? Uh, and unfortunately, the answer is usually yes, which means more work for me. But it builds a life where I'm, 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 I'm building memories to last for a lifetime. Uh, I really feel as though I'm not wasting my life. And that's important. I've got a big fear of death. You know, I don't want to die not having done the cool stuff that you're supposed to do when you're alive. There are lots of people who aren't even alive, and they maybe should have been, and anyway, it's me. So I gotta live my life and their life too.